Hello, welcome to the Please Watch Our Podcast. I'm your host, Connor, and today we have our my special guest, our first guest, Gug. Gug Say hello. Gug, my name's Gug. Hi, Gug. What do you do? Who are you? Well, I make YouTube videos about a whole miasma of topics right now. Currently, I'm mm -hmm. on pilgrimage to uh, become professional in my mm -hmm. video editing and that has gone well as well as you would expect it to go yeah uh you guys should check out his uh news yeah. show he basically rants about youtube and how it sucks and it does suck and it got like a decent it got like 40 50 views right yeah well my 40 subscriber video got actually more views so i like it, 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 I just, it got 50 views that's Insane! Congratulations. I'm Good very job. humble. Um. <laughs> if you're listening, I'm gonna try and make his YouTube channel. In and if you're listening, also be in the description. Today we are talking about Lady Bird. Lady Bird, directed by Greta Gerwig. Uh, hmm. I was like, you know, I can't. Uh, there were so many movies that I could have said, and it would have been like. You know, very, tip it'd be like, oh, I could say, oh, Whiplash, but that's basic. So I was like, yeah. let's do a movie I haven't seen before, and like an art house, mm -hmm. an, art, an art house one. And I was like, this is one I've heard of before, and I'm going to watch it. And, Guess uh, what? Yeah. I've also never seen Lady Bird, and I've seen Whiplash because I'm in film school, and they play Whiplash whenever they want to. Whenever I'm in a writing class, Whiplash is on the screen. I'm like, oh, great. Great movie, but like I'm like, oh, no hate to Whiplash, but like, ugh, could not watch that movie all the way. Okay, so movie starts out mom and daughter in a hotel talking about, do I look like I'm from Santa? P How, what city are they from? I can't say it properly. Sacramento. Satram Sacramento. I, my, I think my audio. We'll find out. Um. <laughs> They're from Sacramento, and the and Lady Bird is like, "Mom, do I look like someone from Sacramento?" And my mom's like, "You live there." And I'm like, "Yeah, she lives she there." She lives and then there. they're listening to an audiobook on a on set sakep on tapes Sorry? on tapes. Yeah. They're listening to the audiobook on tapes, and it's the year two thousand two. So. Piece. It is a period piece. I was, if they went to where I lived, I would have been a baby. One years old. I mean, I don't think they would have visited you. I, you, know, you, don't have a, you don't have nearly as much clout as you do have as, uh, back then as you do now. I know, I'm like so famous. Like, guys. Oof. But yeah, they're talking about like, I don't want to be in California. I want to be where the poets go. I want to live in New York or Chicago at least or something like that. You've seen the clips. You've seen them talking about... You've seen the, like, the trip when they're in the car talking oh, to each other. And the mom is Barry. I don't know how to feel. We'll get into the mom later, but like the mom's like, you really, we literally don't have money. And Lady Bird's like, please. And uh, Lady Bird's name is... Uh, oh my goodness. Why did I not write it yeah. down? Christine. Lady Bird. Her actual... Her name... Her given name is... Christine. Christine and she's and the mom called her Christine and she's like call me Lady Bird and the mom's like okay okay but they keep fighting and then Lady Bird goes out the car door she just gets a little yeet and, yep that's for sure yeah she does that she jumps out of the car and I think, yeah uh, I did it's very much like I like the sort of slice of nice feeliness throughout the whole movie where it's like a bunch of it's not like I don't have good ways to describe things. It's not that it's a boring movie, but like in terms of like big action movie where everything's going, it's like uh, someone jumps out of a car and it's like nothing. But this is like a very regular, lively movie. So when like things, like things happen, it's like dramatic in the perspective of like living life. I yeah. Guess. This movie takes place, I want to say, like, she's starting her last year in high school, so it'll be grade 12, or, like, what do you call it, a senior in high school? 
it's and senior it's taking, year in America. Senior. So it's and it's taking, it ends with her living her her first year in uh college or university, I guess. But yeah, it's very much just cut like slice of lights, just going through the beats. She jumps out the car. You get a cut to the opening shots. You get an idea what her church is like. Her mom mentioned that she wanted uh, Lady Bird to go to this school because her brother saw someone get stabbed at the public school that he went to. Did you go to a public school or a uh, Catholic school growing up? I don't know what you did. I'm, huh? I my my I, I very much went to a public school growing up. Okay, I me too. I haven't seen anyone knifed. Alive. Uh, it's ironic because I feel like if you were to go to, like, the reason I didn't want to go to a Catholic school is because I literally saw people fighting right outside the door. Because I feel like, I don't know what it's, what the, what it's like now, but, like, the thing about going to a Christian school now is that you need to show that, like, you're tough. So the likeliness... I, I, of, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean... In all fairness, when I was in high school, there's two rival schools, and they kind of fought each other. So maybe I'm wrong. But the mom, the mom thought the best thing for her was to go to this Catholic school. And, yeah. you know, very beautifully shot opening scene. Um, it's cute. Yes, very much so. Yes? Yes. I don't know. You don't know? I don't have a photographic memory. I'm I'm doing this off of the cuff. Off the, do you write do you take notes? No. You didn't tell me to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I should I should have said something. Look. Hey, I knew the girl's name and you didn't even, so it's like I feel like I have this movie quite quite in my brain. Quite in your brain? It's right there. just in there? Right. Right in there. Right. Okay. But yeah. Um no, no, no. When I met the dad, I thought he was going to die. I thought he was uh, just gonna kill him. Like something bad I, was gonna I, I happen. Like something tragic was gonna happen. Honestly, for like the first quarter of the movie I had a sinking feeling that it was gonna get really dark and then I was like I was this. waiting for that dad to die. I was like, he's going to die. Either her or either him or the mom was gonna. I'm doing like a little motion of like killing, not killing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use uh language that won't get my video banned on TikTok. Unaliving. Did I tell you I posted a TikTok video with a gun in it, and I put an X around the gun. Pardon? Why'd you do that? It was on TikTok. Uh, because it was a conversation. A gun. It was just a handgun. You don't. I put an X. You're allowed to do that. I put an X around it though, and then they banned. Then they took down the video. They banned it. They they uh... they unalived the video. Yep. The game ended. it. Yep. Yeah. Pretty pretty fun. Pretty sad. Not gonna lie. Um, the Ladybird con- Ladybird talks to the guidance counselor, guidance counselor, which is a nun, and she's like, "You should audition for a play." And it didn't occur to me at this point, but when you saw, when you saw everyone in the play, there's only two guys in that whole audition, like two kind of main guys who are good in it, and then there's Ladybird, Ladybird, and her friend. I forget the friend's name. She's not that important. She plays a part, but it's not a huge part. But basically, the friend gets a better role than Ladybird, and Ladybird's like, "Oh, I cannot believe you got a better role than me." And I wrote down in my book, Ladybird is kind of a bad person. Well, I mean, aren't we all? Jealousy <laughs> is a thing that exists, does it not? And it's just like. I think it was not more like, oh, she got a better role than me, but it was like, she was, it was very much like, oh, everyone gets a role, so everyone can be included. It's like, I feel like she's the kind of person who would rather not be forcibly included in like a fake way. And it's like more like, well, if you want to exclude me, exclude me. Yeah. Her friend is, she, so they're both in math class. She's not doing well in math. Do you do well in math? 
Uh, well, I uh, I did up until the high school, and then I didn't. Okay. Do you take uh, college or university? Uh, uh, college. Uh, uh, oh, no, uni- university courses. University courses. Nice. Sorry, I didn't know. Yeah. I, I took college I, I math because I didn't know any better. That's great for you. I got an 86. I got an 86, okay? Well, in university math, I got a 53, so don't mind me. Are you on your phone? No, I'm cutting up some, like, twine. Okay, all good. It's like, you're in, You're listening. It's all good. I'm listening. I'm very much listening. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Ooh. She meets a boy... And Ladybird thinks he's cute. He's a good singer. He has a voice. He sings some Broadway musical. I think it's from Into the Woods. Into the Woods. I don't listen to musical. I don't, listen I don't to either. Robert. I only assume that because he says there's giants. And I was thinking, like, what musical has giants? And I thought Into the Woods. Love it. Yeah, love it. Yeah, he did a good job. Um, they did a whole like thing where they were like working on. Did you take drama in high school or no? Uh, I took it in ninth grade, and I very much loved the inclusion of all of the drama games. It was like okay, sick. drama games are so much. Actually, I kind of hate drama games. That's just because I'm like introverted. Uh, uh, but like, uh, why'd you take the course? Uh, uh I need an art credit. You need that art credit, but yeah, basically, in the they're all singing, and then the guy, the priest is like, "Yo, guys, well, let's do a try, a cry, a try not to cry competition." He cries, and then Five he minutes. cries very quickly. We find out that he has a little sad backstory, and like, womp womp, your son died. Wife died. That's Wife nice. died. Son died. <laughs> Become a priest. I mean, that it takes a long time to become a priest. I wouldn't know. Yeah, you wouldn't know. I'm it takes like eight years. Me either. Why? Why not? Why? Why does it take so long to become a priest? What do you? Because you gotta, you gotta learn. Depending on where you go, you might have to learn Latin. You also have to work, learn. Um, you go to a seminary for a few years, like three or four years, and then after oh, the wow. seminary, you become what? Only one person who, like, natively speaks Latin. What do you need to speak Latin for? It's a dead language. My mom really wanted me to learn Latin. No. I'm like, mom, no one uses it. Oh, now My I mom... can know what the scientific names mean. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. That's, yeah. So my sister learned, took a course for Latin, and I think she just passed. I don't know what mark she got, but, like, she's like, I'll do it because I want to become a nurse. And I'm like, there you go. You have a reason to take Latin. That's it. I... I'm here. I know what papa me papa papa pe, pe means. Okay. It means pope. That's that's amazing. I know. I know a little bit of language. Uh, terra means ground too. I could presume that. Mhm. Okay. Have you, they have a conversation, basically. The play happens uh, kind of quickly. No, wait. Um, so they're, in the, they're both talking, and they're like, I never left the country before. And he's like, yeah, I... Like, the guy who's really good in the play, he's like, I've never left the country before, and I want to go to Paris. What did you think of the... Out of... And then one minute, one minute... She goes to guy's counselor. She goes to a guy's counselor, and the the counselor's like, Lady Bird very much has a high like she thinks highly of herself, which is good. But she thought she could get into Yale. Uh, I did. I do recall in the scene she said it would be a, a you know a stretch, a reach. I I I feel it, like I remember like, saying that. And then the guy's counselor yeah. sort of like laughed in her face. I she love like, that. That was a- <laughs> it's like. It's like it's not you're not gonna get in. I love that. 
uh, her and the boy from the play picked out a star, a star for each other. Also, the boy has like a lot of siblings, and I'm like relatable. I don't know. I relate I don't to that. Know. I felt seen. You don't? No. You no? know all my siblings. I do know all your siblings. We don't know all my siblings. I meant all no. your siblings. Yeah. No? Uh, I don't know. Um, like that, her. Uh. Yeah. When when she got put on the wait list to see a school in New York, I liked how she jumped. I didn't really take note of how of how she jumped. I was like, "Wow, that's crazy!" Because mm-hmm. it's like wait list. That's impressive. Good, good job. It was yeah, but yeah, it was good a job. I just thought it was funny how. Even, she was weightless, and she got very excited. It's very much an exciting thing to happen. But we find out the mom doesn't know. Yeah. And yeah, we do find out. I was like, I don't know. The mom is a strange character in the context you of could... this entire thing. It's like... Mm-hmm. I think... Uh, Telling, not telling, she said at the time that if she didn't tell the mom, she would be uh, doing a lot less fighting than she needed to do. And I, I, I don't know. I think she can hide it, but the fact that the dad conspired with her to hide it from the mom. Yeah. I don't mm. know that. It was very much. I it was very much um I don't to be, I feel like the mom and the the like uh, the relationship between the mom and the daughter very interesting how it was made they do I really don't know if they like each other I didn't get that from this like they don't I feel like they don't like each other at all I think it's complicated I think they I think we're very, very... complicated we're seeing the entire movie is just a year of this person's life, and we're not seeing the other 17 years that could lead to mm-hmm. tension or dryness. And the mother has a very strange, like, a, ver- a very blunt way of speaking, not in the way where it's like, oh, yeah, she's real. It's like, oh, she's kind of a dick. Where mm-hmm. it's like, I never fully saw her as like, oh, she's some evil... She's some evil crone or witch. I more saw her as, oh, she doesn't really know how to express her love to her. And I, I do think at the end of the day, at the very least by the end of the movie, they did, they did. It, like, their, their relationship was at the very least repaired by the end of the movie. But I think, mm-hmm. yeah. No, I definitely think it was very much, I feel like if you were a mother like a daughter and you watch this movie there'd be a re- like you could relate to lady bird in the situation me as a man me as a man i couldn't i nope. d- i just no no uh, no can't relate no you can't really i i really couldn't i'm sorry i just i'm a bit of a mom's boy mother's boy i love my mom I love my mom do you love your mom or no no me as a man, <laughs> comma. Yeah. Nope. What? Me as a man, comma. Nope. Can't relate. Nope. Can't relate. Uh. Uh-uh. No, I don't have a. What do no. you call it? What do you call it? I don't have. Why can I not? Why can I not you, think of the we, word? Are we, are we talking? Are we? Are we Freuding it up right now? I was trying to think of the word. I can't think of the word. Oedipus? No, me as a man, I don't have a vagina. Why did that take me so long? What? I said, me as a man, okay. I don't have a vagina. Uh, why did that take you so long to figure it out? I mean, like, I don't me, know. Personally, I'd say, me personally, I'd say, me as a man, I don't have a clitoris, but it's like... Yeah. Right. I don't have that. I don't have a vagina, and you don't have that. So it's all good. Nope. All good. No. So I just can't relate to a movie about a mom and a daughter. I can very, I can't relate to it, and I, but I like very, 
different perspective from what I've seen before. Different perspective mm-hmm. from my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what the movie was, mostly. It's like something that it very much didn't align up with most of the things that happened in my life, but it was like very interesting to see a very volatile relationship between a mother and a daughter because that sometimes that feels a relationship feels so sacred and for I don't know, lost my train of thought. Did you did you think it was like but it's not like a hateful relationship. Like they don't hate it's each not. other. They, they they don't hate each other. It's like they just are mad. They just have a lot of reasons to be mad at each other, but they yeah. very much love each other. Mm-hmm. Like they do things throughout the film multiple times together. Just like there probably is like hang definitely... out, uh, mm-hmm. she hangs out with her mom probably out of the most out of any ever character. Yeah, uh, even like her friend, her best friend in the movie. We don't see her a lot near the end of it. Um, the musical, the musical happens. There's a big light up to go to the washroom, mm-hmm. and the boy that she likes, yeah, yeah, she's making out. He's he's, he's macking on another man. I know. How did? Yeah. I mean, like, They're who could have guessed that the theater kid was gay? I mean, who could have guessed? Whoa, 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 whoa! Put whoa, 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 whoa! My hands are too. I want to engage in stereotype here. But, yes, but I mean, who could have guessed? Who could have guessed? The two musical people were <laughs> kissing. Anyways, Lady Bird is upset, and her, and her best friend go and cry. I need. I should have wrote down this song they listen to but they're both listening to a, a sad song crying and relatable i don't cry you know a song i listened to when a girl said no to me what song did you listen to i still fear the shadows my room can't take back the love that i gave you it's to the That's point right. where i love and i hate you and i can't forgive you and that uh, 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 uh. na 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 Oh, yeah, cool. I I had a wine, I had a wine bottle, crying in a room. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't do that. I'm a man. Yeah. I was raised not to cry, and I'm out. one day my emotions will all come out in some big explosion. Are you and saying that men I'll, can't cry? I'm saying, as a man, I was raised not to cry, so I'm going to keep my emotions right here in my secret spot until it wells up so much that I, I have a big explosion that either mm-hmm. kills me or leaves me in the hospital. So where's your and secret I spot? Heart. Heart? So if I walked up to Heart. you and I just get a little... Boop. Would you break down? Figuratively. I said it... I mean, I meant it in a figurative way. You mm-hmm. ruined that. Like a ruiner. No, but... You ruin. But yeah, ru- I'm a ruiner? Yeah. I ruin shit? Yep. Yeah? That's what you do. That's all I do? Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah? I got it. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> um, Lady Bird has a brother, and we find out near the start of the movie the dad does not have a job. So that's fun. That's terrifying. Uh, Low income household is. Mm -hmm. uh, It's a very. You know, I'm not going to speak from the very privileged life I've grown up in, but it seems like it's a sad story to tell. Mm hmm. Couldn't relate. Honestly, me either. Can't relate to that. Hands up and again, hands up again, you know? Yeah, there we go. It's not okay, but yeah, the son applies for a job that the dad just got out of, and he gets it, which is great because he was working on a grocery store before, and that probably was not making anything. Yeah. What? I mean... How do you feel about the son and her? his girlfriend like did you like that character like do you like them as characters i like the girlfriend i thought the son was pretty i thought the brother was pretty bland uh, yeah no he didn't, he didn't seem to have much going on the girl seemed like very much like a cool older sister but the older brother seemed like 
Uh, well, an older brother, and sometimes older brothers suck. You know, he seemed like Roderick from Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules, but like without all the fun stuff. Okay. Uh, next podcast, we're we're invite you to watch it on there. We'll watch that together. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You sort of spring this on me, man. This is like the middle of a recording, and you're already uh-huh. announcing the next pod. No, like if I invite you back, we'll whip or snap for you. <laughs> um. Oh, I cannot read my writing. I need to edit. I'm gonna have to edit this down a lot, aren't I? Okay. Probably. The mom, f- the mom found out about um the kid, about uh Lady Bird getting on the wait list. And then yes. they don't talk. Lady Bird gets her license. She drives around. She does a lot of fun stuff. She has fun, you know. She talks to her friend. Her friend, she had prom. Her friend leaves to go in Yellowknife, which is great. Um, the dad so sweet. The dad says, "You're like, you're my only." The dad remembers her 18th birthday, and he's like, "You're my only daughter." Her and uh, the the girlfriend's name is Shelly. And I'm like, oh, I love the dad. I hope he doesn't die. Didn't die. That's didn't awesome, die. right? Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, when they brought up depression, I thought he was going to, like, I thought he was going to yeah. unalive himself. Unalive himself. Was, Thank you. I, I, was, I, was, I was very much uh, uh, afraid of that. I was like, wow, that would destroy me mentally. Yeah. Thank you. More, I thought that would put more strain on my. Well, Thank you for saying unalive. You really saved uh I saved the, the TikTok. World. Yeah, saved the world, saved TikTok from taking down my video. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, that's just the kind of good She goes to New York. She gets alcohol poisoning. That's fun. Uh, I don't drink. You don't drink? Nope. You're t- you're a, you're a child, so uh yeah, I'm eighteen, and I don't plan to drink after I turn eighteen. You mean nineteen? Nineteen? Uh, potato, tomato. Yeah. Because it's like I'm eighteen now, so we said I don't plan to drink after I'm eighteen. So technically, mm-hmm. the statement is still true. Mm-hmm. Um. Here we go. Um, my final. I'm listening. <laughs> okay. I'm intently listening right now. Okay. My so I wrote a little little par so wrote a little paragraph. I like I love the phone call she had her mom about when she she was driving and she said it's not it's so different driving these same errors by herself and I wanted to see I wondered I wanted to know if you felt that way too. And I thought that was really good. Yes. But also, like, why was she moved to New York in 2002? Crazy. Uh, because, uh, they, they, I mean, they mentioned it. It was uh, cheaper. She wasn't scared of terrorism because, you know, that whole thing was an inside job anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, so it's like, she wasn't scared of terrorism, so she was like, probably less people are going to be applying here anyway, so I'm going to have a better chance to get in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, do you have anything you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about Ch- Timothy Chalamet? I saw it, uh... When I saw I him, I'm like, ah. Oh. I don't... I didn't recognize him as Timothy Chalamet, because I don't care. I'm not... You I don't, don't care about actors. I don't care about actors. Okay. The two actors are, like, are Robert De Niro and... James Gandolfini, not that you'd ever know who that is. <laughs> I don't care about actors and like the big names in Hollywood. I know who Tilly Shivi Chalamet is. Everyone says he's either a skinny bitch or the hottest person alive. I think his character in the movie was just fine because he wasn't trying to be a, a friend of a protagonist. He was very much an antagonist of the later part of the movie. So it's like, yeah, he played. He he did good in the role of an artsy asshole who's very much fake. I feel like that's Timothy Chalamet, though, in general. I don't... 
I don't care about celebrity drama, and I don't want Timothy Chalamet to see this and get mad at me. Timothy Chalamet is an asshole, and I don't like him. Hmm. Don't know. Don't care. If I ever meet him, if I ever meet him in person, what are you gonna do? I don't know, man. A good blow. Like I'll just like take a deep breath and just blow him away. Oh, yeah, that's inadvisable. Yeah, I was. I watched like the first like fifteen minutes of Doom, and he wa- And me and my friend were like, "He's so fucking pale." Okay. He's People so pale, that. dude. But he's. Living- right, you know who? You, you know you know who else is pale? Who? You. Yeah. I'm not as pale as Timothy Chalamet. Well, it seems like you're uh, sort of putting your. Your insecurities on someone else. Listen, I I'm more tan than he is, dude. He yeah, is... it's like oh, comparing comparing skin. Ooh, comparing skin tones. Oh, baby. Oh, he's, Twitter.com he's... slash every, every anything is everything is over party right now. Get he is it trending. He is pasty. I could talk about my own race. Oh, why are we comparing skin tones? Why are why are we bringing down people of our own of our of our own of, of your own creed? Why and why why even see? Why even care about the color of someone's skin? You're focusing so much on the color of people's skin. He's, he he lives skin on, color do you focus on? He lives, he lives on the he lives on the desert planet. That's why he's pale. Bro, he's he, so he sits inside the cave all day. What do you if you lived in the desert, would you be outside? There's nothing there, it's just sand. But when he walks outside, he's white. Like, here, Google. Google Doom. Uh, Doom. Timmy Chalamet, white. Oh, I did it. He looks normal. He looks... He looks normal. No, he's so fucking pale. He looks pale, but he looks... looks Quite pale. That's that doesn't even matter. Even that, that, that matter is not even a little bit. I'm just saying. Oh. Well. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we do a little thing at the end of the show where we do a ratings. I do. I say like a letterbox review. What do you want to do? You could do like a rating out of ten. Okay. Uh. Well, I'd give it like eight and a half out of ten. I thought it was. Mm-hmm. Great, what are some great. flaws? What are some flaws you see in it? I thought that the middle was very much hard to watch because you're actively just seeing someone throw their life away mm. or a group of people who fucking suck. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, my my letterbox review is here. We go. Ready? Yeah. I can I can't really relate to the mother and daughter relationship due to me being a man, but what I can relate to is missing home and missing wanting to go back to home. The very end of the movie really struck with me. The fact that I was able to I related to the feeling of wanting to go back to where I used to live, being able to go home. Being able to. <laughs> My brother's name placard. I'm still at home. L. I don't live at home anymore, and it's something that I miss, you know? <laughs> something that oh, I. Hell. I want. You don't really realize how much you miss your place till you leave it, and I really enjoyed that element of the film. Yeah. Can't relate. Can't relate to. Can't relate to that because I decided, you know what, home is awesome, and I'm gonna stay there, and I'm not gonna abandon it. And you're not a wo- And you're not a woman. You can't relate to this movie at all. Well, I guess not. I guess I, I can't relate to the movie. It's a zero out of ten. Damn. Okay. Well, that's it. Do you want? Do you have anything you want to add? <laughs> nope. I think that you guys should all subscribe to uh, Jacksepticeye on YouTube. 
cute. Uh, this is please watch our podcast. Thank you for watching it with us. Okay. I love you.